Hey guys, okay, so I wanted to come in today and show you my current virtual streaming setup. So I'm gonna walk you through the equipment that I use, the mic I use, how I get iTunes through OBS, so the sound is really good for my fitness classes, um, and or any kind of online streaming that you're doing or online video recording that you're doing, and um, just show you my setup so that you can do it too. So um, a little bit about me before we get into it. I'm Kate, I'm a techie teacher. So I love technology. I use technology to stream my online fitness classes. I used to teach elementary school. I don't do that anymore, but I'm still very much a teacher at heart and I'm taking my classroom online. So a little bit about you. Let me know in the comments, you guys, how did you find me? What is your industry? Are you a fitness professional looking to get online? Are you someone who's live streaming in a different field or arena that you need help with? Um, are you someone who's just ha a hobbyist on YouTube, wanting to start a YouTube channel or do any live streaming or video production? Um, tell me about you and what you're looking for and what information you need or what you're wondering because I can help create content that will help you. Um, so like I said, today's topic, uh, we're going to get into my live streaming setup, the equipment, um, all my setups, and I'll show you a video exactly of how I have everything set up. And, uh, but I want to show you a couple of the resources that you might be interested in using or joining on Facebook if you're wondering like where you can go to get other, uh, other info. So this is a Facebook group that I've set up on uh, for people who are using OBS or I mean really any, any live streaming platforms, but I'm very familiar with OBS. So that's why I started it. Um, and I started the group mostly for fitness professionals, but we're definitely finding other people in the group in many different fields and arenas. And you're welcome to join the group. It's just where we can connect and support each other with the tech side of learning OBS and how to get it up and running so that you can do your live broadcasts or your recorded shows or whatever you're doing. Um, so search for this group on Facebook. Uh, make sure you answer the questions. If you don't answer the questions, I'm not gonna approve you to the group, uh, super important. This is another group if you want to work out with me. So this is my group for actual, uh, my clients who want to work out with me online. My daily schedule is posted here along with all the links and kind of daily updates on my workouts. Now I do have some workouts that are public on YouTube but I, a lot of you may have found me that way. But I will say that 95% of my workouts are not public and I only stream them uh, with links through this group. So if you want to work out with me, every day or maybe once a week or however what often you want, then you can find this group and add yourself there. Again, you have to answer the questions or I will not approve you. And then this final group is not my own Facebook group, but it is a new platform I've been finding and using called Crowdcast. Really amazing live streaming platform. If you're wanting to live stream more for business purposes, um, because you have options to do like paywalls and passwords and everything. Anyway, this is the Crowdcast community's website and I do hang out there a lot as well. So those are some Facebook groups you might be interested in joining. Um, let's get back to what we're doing today, which is my whole virtual setup and a tour of my equipment and how I have it all connected so that it all runs smoothly most days, most days. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to take you to this screen in my classroom, which is going to have a, you're going to see like a recorded video in the background here because what I did this morning is I recorded on my iPhone um, a walkthrough of my setup. And so I want to play it for you and then I'll be able to pause it and kind of interject with some things that I maybe forgot to talk about. Um, but we'll play this. And then you guys ask any questions in the comments. Um, I will say with questions though, you guys, it, it honestly is very difficult to answer tech questions when I don't know what equipment you're using or like you're, I can't see your setup. So uh, I try to answer questions as best as I can, but it's really hard when it's just, um, you know, via text on YouTube. <laughs> um, all right, you guys, so let's play this video and I'll walk you through. So I'm gonna play this. Let me turn down the song completely here so you can hear it. All right, here we go. Let's just take a look. Hey everybody, I thought I would show you an updated video of my streaming setup. Um, so the old video I have on my channel is, it works just fine if you're getting started, but I wanted to show you my, my current setup. So. Um, I'm going to walk you through the connections and then what everything does and then hopefully this will help you get your set up too. So I I'm going to pause it here quick. So uh, if you've found my YouTube channel and you've already watched my previous virtual setup, 
it's almost identical. The things that have changed are how I have my sound. So in the previous video, and you can watch that, it's, it worked just fine, but it wasn't as crystal clear for music and voice. And now my sound is crystal clear when I do my stream up setup. So the difference is it's almost the same. It's just the music and mics are set up differently. Stream on YouTube and Crowdcast. Those are my streaming services. And I um, use OBS. And so OBS, if you if you ever watch my videos and you're like, how does this sound so, sound so good? It's because I'm using OBS. OBS is free, open broadcasting software. I'll put the link below. Um, so let me show you how I have everything set up though. So I have um, two cameras. I have a uh, Logitech 920 and that is my front camera. And that just faces my mat. I'm about nine feet away from both cameras. And then, so that is just connected on my one USB port. Okay, that's connected directly to my computer. And then my other side camera just hangs out over here. It's just from my side angle. This is a lower end Logitech. I think it's a seven something, seven, or no, 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 no. It's a 720 pixel, but it's like the 290. <laughs> just a note about this camera too. This camera does not have like a tripod through thing. So, I rigged this tripod, tripod, it's actually a selfie stick, <laughs> with a command, 3M command strip, and I stuck it to the back of the camera, and I stuck it on this selfie stick. So, I, in hindsight, I wish I would have bought two of the um, other Logitech ones, because then I could have used a normal tripod. <laughs> but this works just fine. I think. So, I'll put it in the links. Um, and then it's just sitting over here, hanging out looking at a side view of my mat. And this is just connected with a long USB extension cord, which I did have to buy. So that extension cord just gives me access to have it all the way over there. And then I do have, this is a, U, I only have two USB ports. So I have this one and this one. And so I did have to get a USB splitter, which is this fancy thing. It was like $7 on, on Amazon. Side note, um, some people have told me that if you have a USB splitter and you're plugging cameras into a splitter, that because it's like having to go through so many connections that it can have uh, cause problems in OBS. Now I have not experienced that, so but that is something to look out for. And that is why I plug my front cam directly into my computer. So that one has a direct connection. And then I use the splitter for the microphone and the side cam. And then that gives me more uh, external USB ports. And so this is my side camera. Again, side camera you don't even need. That's just optional. And then this is my microphone. So I have a headset mic on right now. Um, I can't switch my camera to show you. Maybe I can do that. Hi, can you see me? Headset mic. <laughs> um, I don't even know if I can see myself. Anyway, this I had to buy. It is a uh, uh, USB mic and headphone splitter. And for some reason, your Mac, if you have a Mac, I stream on a Mac, my Mac does not have its own separate microphone port and it does not recognize any microphones I put in this jack. Hey, another side note, I learned the hard way. You can buy splitters, mic and headphone splitters that plug into that port. But if you have a Mac, they don't work. I bought like five of them, you guys, and every single one did not work. And I don't know what it is with the with the MacBook Pro. I have a 2015-ish model, but I had to have the USB splitter. So just side note there. Oh, I did have to get a splitter. And so this microphone receiver plugs into the pink microphone side. And then I turn this on and I turn my headset on and then my Mac does recognize it as a microphone. So. All the sound from my microphone is being fed into my computer in OBS. You guys, I'm going to show you my screen, but it's a disgusting, dirty, slimy mess. And it's super glary, so you probably won't be able to even see anything. We'll try, though. Um, okay, so do you see my mixer down here? This is an OBS, so you can see I'm talking into my microphone, so it's moving. Hello, hello, hello. Actually, this might, might be my eternal microphone. I don't know. Anyway, that's how I know the sound is going to OBS. The sound is not amplified for me. So I just sound normal right now to myself. But with that bar is moving, then I know my voice is going right to my people nice and crisp. 
Um, as far as sound settings, it's a, I've been trying to tweak sound settings since I started. Uh, I try to keep my levels in the yellow area. If I'm playing music, I have the music pushed all the way up so that it just hits the red a teeny bit for fitness classes. And then for my mic, I have my mic a teeny bit lower, like one to two decibels lower, because I want my people to be able to hear the music nice and loud and clear. Clear. And then I can adjust the volume right here. Okay, so then I have iTunes also going into, um, into OBS. And so this is set up through a, a third-party app called I Show You Audio Capture. So another problem with MacBooks, you cannot easily capture your desktop audio. Maybe you figured that out already. Um, and it is the most frustrating thing in the world with OBS and a Mac. Uh, I believe if you have a PC, it's quite simple, um, but it is not simple on a Mac. And it took me forever to figure out how to get I Show You Audio Capture to capture my desktop audio and actually get it into OBS. Um, and that's another tutorial that I'll try to get going because I know that's a common question. Um, but now I do have it set up so that my computer audio can easily be captured. Uh, like right now I'm capturing it for this QuickTime video that I'm showing you. And that's how I get the music to my people through iTunes for my classes. And so now if I play a song, let me play a quiet song here. Okay, look at I push play. Okay, the bars are moving. I can turn the volume up. Now the problem is you can't hear it, right? And so what I had to do, I record like this. All my sound will be going to my people right now, but I can't. I have to hear the music, right? So I just bought an aux cord and I plug it into my headphone jack, and then the other end goes into my block rocker into the aux auxiliary in. Okay, now watch if I turn the volume up. We talk, you say it softly, but I... So that aux cord is super important because it's basically whatever my people are hearing that's being captured from my desktop audio, whether it's iTunes or a video or anything that's playing on my computer, anything that's playing on my desktop, by plugging that aux cord in, I am hearing exactly what they're hearing at the exact same time. And that's super important because we know that if you're teaching fitness classes, especially if you're doing a, a choreographed to the beat teen, you have to hear the music exactly as your participants are hearing the music like to the second. So, and you wanna be able to crank it up so I can turn my music up loud. Okay, so this gives me the control. My people don't hear this volume. This is my personal volume, okay? So I can blast the music for myself. I can turn it down for myself. This does not change what's happening here. See, I'm gonna turn it all the way down. That stays the same. Turn it all the way up, stays the same. Turn it down, stays the same. This is a completely separate volume control for OBS. So I can control the volume of my music for my people. So the biggest thing I've learned about audio, you guys, if you're using OBS, you have to watch these colored bars, okay? Like, if you're not watching these bars, you don't know what you sound like to the people that are watching. And especially because when you're using a mic that's plugged into your computer, that's not amplified for you. So like I said, when I'm teaching my classes, I don't hear my voice, like, blasting through my speaker. I just am talking normally. And so I have to really keep an eye on these so that my voice and my music are roughly the same in this yellow area. If the mic is ever way down here in the green and my music is way up here in the yellow or the red, there's no way anybody can hear me. Even though I can hear myself just fine, they can't hear me. So these colored bars are super, super important. Right now my mic and music are about the same. If I turn the volume down on the music, now my people would be hearing me a little bit louder than the music. So these settings take a long time to get good and get adjusted. And the other thing that you can do, which is awesome in OBS, is you can use the recording feature. Like if you look over in OBS on the right side, um, down in the control panel, 
you can do a recording. So you can do a quick recording to see what's going to be captured. And that recording is going to record exactly what these settings are right here. And then you can listen and the playback to see what it sounds like. And that's exactly how it's going to sound for your people. So I do test recordings all the time to get my settings nailed down and tweaked. And I'm still working on them daily. Um, but that is the setup that I have for my live streaming. And then what I do as I'm streaming is because my phone, I'm recording on my phone right now, but my phone isn't connected to any of this, right? I'm only using my computer, my webcams, my block rocker. So what I do is I watch my stream on my phone and then I Bluetooth these headphones to my phone. They're falling apart as you can see. Um, and then I'm able to hear myself for just sound checks to make sure that I can actually, my people are hearing the right things. So there's about 10 to 20 second delay from the time you live stream, if you're live streaming, to YouTube or to Crowdcast or any platform, there's usually a, a delay. And what I mean by delay, it's latency. It's not a delay between your sound and the music. It's a delay between the time that you're actually doing a move. And then it does, it's not like, instant, instant real time with a live stream. It does take time for the data to be sent wherever it's being sent and being shown to your people. So when you Bluetooth and when you're watching your playback or when you're watching your live stream, you're going to like, you'll be talking. And then if you have your headphones on, you're going to hear yourself like repeating 10 seconds later because you're hearing yourself later. Does that make sense? So when I start a stream, if you're in any of my classes, you've seen me, I start with my headphones on because then for about 10 seconds, I can listen to myself and just make sure that I'm actually there. And then I take these off. Otherwise you get super confused because you're just hearing yourself talking. Um, the other thing that's really important, why I keep my phone, I don't use my phone for anything except to watch the live stream separately because then I can actually see I mean, OBS shows you too if you freeze or buffer, but um, I see what my people are seeing, like exactly. So I keep that going the whole entire time while I'm doing a live stream so that I can just look over and check like, okay, am I still there? Are they, are they still seeing me? And, they're, and that's what they're seeing. So that's it. That's how I set up. And everything that I have here, um, I just set it up in the morning and then I pack it all up in my little backpack here and wheel my block rocker downstairs and we're good to go. So that is my setup. Um, I'll put a link below to all my equipment that I have on my website. You guys can check it out and um, ask me any questions. All right, have a good day, bye. Okay, so that's that video. Um, so let me take you back to doo -doo 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 -doo, the screen here. So that is a tour of my virtual setup, you guys, and all of my equipment. Um, Trying to think if there's anything else that I forgot to mention or if there's anything else that, um, we'll turn back on here for you guys. If there's anything else that um, that I wanted to talk about, but really it's a, just ask me questions, you guys. Let me know what, um, what, what you need help with. And honestly, it just is a lot of trial and error, a lot of YouTube videos. <laughs> I have watched hours and hours and hours, weeks and months of work trying to get my setup perfected and I pretty much almost have it nailed down. Um, but I've been streaming since November. November. So uh, I do know quite a bit about OBS and how to set things up and I can answer as many questions as I possibly can. Or if you ask me the questions, then I can make a tutorial for you and get it posted on YouTube. So I think that's it, you guys. Um, let me know what questions you have, like I said, them below. Can you double, triple check? If you're subscribed to my channel, that really helps me a ton on YouTube. And check out Crowdcast, you guys. It's an awesome new platform. It's worth checking out if you're using live streaming for business purposes. Um, it's not a free platform, but well worth the money if you are looking to make money. And you can find me on Crowdcast as well. And you can find me on any of these other platforms if you would like. Uh, so please subscribe, like the video, share the video with anybody that you might find this useful. And uh, we'll see you next time. All right, you guys, have a great day. Bye.